Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Psalms chapter 60, but before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalms chapter 60. You have rejected us, O God, and broken our defenses. You have been angry with us. Now restore us to your favor. You have shaken our land and split it open. Seal the cracks, for the land trembles. You have been very hard on us, making us drink wine that sent us reeling. But you have raised a banner for those who fear you, a rallying point in the face of attack. Now rescue your beloved people. Answer and save us by your power. God has promised this by his holiness. I will divide up Shechem with joy. I will measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Galid is mine, and Manasaw is Manasaw too. Ephraim, my helmet, will produce my warriors, and Judah, my scepter, will produce my kings. But Moab, my, wa my wash ba but basin, will become my servant, and I will wipe my feet on Edom and shout in triumph over Philistia. Who will bring me into the fortified city? Who will bring me victory over Edom? Have you rejected us, O God? Will you no longer march with our, en our, with our armies? Oh, please help us against our enemies, for all human help is useless. With God's help, we will do mighty things, for he will trample down our foes. Amen. So what did you think of Psalms chapter 60? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Um, let me know your insights on the chapter or maybe comment what your favorite verse is or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. And if you need prayer, put that in the comments and we can pray together. Or if you've been blessed lately, let us know so we can rejoice with you. Or just comment your favorite emoji just to let us know that you're part of the community. So um, as I'm reading... Um, Psalms um, chapter 60, um, the first verse says, You have rejected us, O God, and broken our defenses. You have been angry with us. Now restore us to your favor. And I kind of think about the times in my life where God had to yell at me to get me back in place. Um, you know, I've been an off and on Christian most of my life, but um, you know, throughout that time, you know, I'd get into the, you know, reading the Bible and going to church every Sunday. And then I would kind of just drift off as, you know, my life kind of, I let my life take over. And, you know, there was always something in my life that called me back to God. And, you know, I kind of look at this as that same thing that says, you know, you have been angry with us. So, through God's anger, I was brought back into his good graces and back into his favor. And he is, he would restore me each and every time. But in, in no time previously, have I really dug down in, in that and really, um, taken hold of my commitment and my relationship with, um, with God as I have, you know, now. And, um, I just see him sealing those cracks as it says he sealed the, he sealed those cracks that uh, in my foundation you know he he has um, it says you're you have shaken our land and split it open now seal back the cracks and you have been hard on us making us drink wine that sent us reeling but you have raised a banner for those who fear you a rallying point in the face of attack so you know at, you know, my worst, he's rallied with me and brought me back and brought me up out of the pit and shown me his mercy and grace, you know, un unbelievingly. And it says, now rescue your beloved people. And he will, he will rescue us. He will bring us back together. 
He will seal those cracks in our lives and fill our hearts with his love and his grace and his mercy. Um, and it says, God has promised this by his holiness. He's promised to give us this life, this inheritance in our future, this reward that is waiting for us, something to hope for, something to look forward to. Um, he's given us something to hold on to. And throughout that time, through you know, throughout our journey, he will comfort us, he will guide us, he will protect us, and he will love us. And it says, um, I will divide up um, Shechem with joy. I'm not sure what Shechem means. I'm going to have to look it up later. Um, but if you know what it means, leave it in the comments below. And I will measure out the valley. And he, this, the author is basically going through like where the warriors will come from and who the enemy is in this situation. Um, and it's not always that easy to tell who our enemy is to point it out. But God always knows who our enemies are. And we can pray to him for discernment to decide who is our enemies, who is here for for to help us who will be our warriors in our times of need who can we call on like you know some people just have those people in your lives that are prayer warriors you know they're really good at prayer and you know you can call on them when you need a really strong prayer and then we also have people who have authority over our lives who we can go to and you know just kind of ask and say you know this is what's going on with me how can you be of help to me in, in my time of need and then we also have those people in our lives who maybe look to us for that authority and we can then in turn help them in their times of need and then we have those people who um, are our enemies and God can always give us that discernment over who to turn to and which in which situations that we're in and who we may, might need to turn away from in different situations and then it says who will bring me into the fortified city who will bring me victory over Edom God will bring us victory over everything victory is always God's all the glory is always to God in every situation that we are in and it says, will you no longer march with our armies, O God? Have you rejected us? So sometimes it may feel like God has rejected you if you're not hearing his answer right quick. And in those situations, as I've said previously, is to just take an inventory of our lives. Like, first of all, are you being obedient to God? Are you following his commands? Are you spending time with him and having a relationship with him? And once we're able to get through those situations, then we need to ask, you know, is there anyone we need in our lives that we need to ask forgiveness from? And is there anyone that maybe we need to forgive and have mercy and grace on that we want to see from God? And then we need to just wait patiently for him and continue to praise him along the way and know that he has not rejected you, that he is just working out the, the, the way he's clearing the path for you as you continue to walk and trust that his word will be a lamp at your feet and will guide your path as you continue on your journey and that you can rest peacefully in his shelter and he will protect you and guide you. And it says, for all, it says, please help us against our enemies for all human help is useless. And I don't believe that all human help is useless. It is not. And anything that the Lord sends you to do will not be useless. And that is what his word says. His word says that you, you as long as you are doing the Lord's work, you will not be useless. And so I don't believe that it is useless, but I do believe that God has victory over everything. And in situations where um, there is no human help, available or that there's no one that he can use to help you he will intervene there'll be divine intervention and you just have to trust in that and trust in his process and trust in his victory and it says well with God's help we will do mighty things for he will trample down on our foes with God's help anything is possible with God's help you can defeat any enemy with God's help no weapon formed against you shall prosper so that is my interpretation of Psalms chapter 60. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence, and have a great rest of your day. I love you.